Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Z transform of an accumulator using the convolution property. So given the system function that is y of n is equal to the summation k is equal to minus infinity to n x of k that is the system equation for the for the accumulator. Now we want to find the z transform of the output y of n in terms of the z transform of the input x of n. Now this summation uh, k equal to minus infinity to n x of k can be rewritten as follows. We define a new variable m which is m which is n minus k. So for k equal to minus infinity m becomes infinity that is for k is equal to minus infinity m becomes infinity and for k is equal to n m becomes 0. So the sum y of n that is the output y of n can be rewritten as summation m is equal to 0 to infinity x of and k becomes n minus m. So that is the summation that is summation m equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus m. Now this summation uh, can be seen as summation of a causal signal. So it can be written as summation m equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus m u of m that is u of m is 1 for values of m equal to 0 to infinity. So these two sums are identical. So and now this summation looks like a convolution operation. So therefore y of n is basically convolution between u of n and x of n because the definition of convolution is nothing but this summation that is u of m x of n minus n and summation is from m equal to 0 to infinity. So y of n is the convolution of u of n that is the unit step sequence with the input x of n. Now using the convolution property, the convolution property of z transforms which basically says that the uh, convolution in time domain is equivalent to multiplication in z domain that is the z transform of y of n that is y of z will be equal to the z transform of u of n z transform of u of n multiplied by the z transform of the input x of n that is x of z. So this is the relation between the output z transform y of z with the input z transform x of z. Now recall that the z transform of the unit step sequence is simply 1 by 1 minus z inverse and then we have x of z. Therefore the output z transform y of z is x of z by 1 minus 1 z inverse that is x of z over 1 minus z inverse. So that is the relation between the two z transforms. So to summarize we have derived the z transform of the accumulator uh, using the convolution property that is we express the z transform of the output of the accumulator in terms of the z transform of the input. Uh, the derivation is as follows that is uh, we start with the system equation of the accumulator then we use change of variables and rewrite the sum as summation m equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus m and then uh, since the summation is from 0 to infinity we can include u of m because it is equal to 1 for values of m to z from 0 to infinity. So and when we look at this summation it is basically convolution between u of n and x of n and then next we use the convolution property of the z transform that is the output z transform y of z will be equal to the product of the z transforms the corresponding z transform that is the transform of the system that is u of n so this z transform of u of n with the z transform of the input that is x of z therefore the output y of z that is output z transform y of z is nothing but x of z by 1 minus z inverse. Thanks for watching.